Hi guys, first of all thank you for your support in the last video. I will get right to the point, in my last video I developed a smart window and door sensor, and the last few weeks I have been researching methods to improve the energy efficiency of the SP32 and in general of the device I am designing. Also many of you gave me a lot of advice about power consumption, energy efficiency and so on, and I thank you for that. This video will be more a video update of the project, so I will show you some tests and how I plan to improve this prototype. But first, this project is possible with the help of PCBWay. And yes, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can buy your PCBs for only $5, check the link below to place your first order now. Thank you again PCBWay for the support. So, using a deep slip of the SP32 to wake up the mic controller is an efficient method because it does not allow us to go below 3 or 5 microampere. The problem can be solved in two ways by using a more efficient deep slip mic controller, such as a Tiny 10 or a STM32, or by using a power latch to control the SP32 power supply. Design a power latch can be more complex for some application, like a digital sensor without interrupt pin. A few weeks ago I designed this new version of the Dodge sensor. The main changes from the previous version are First I removed the digital RGB LED with three LEDs that are powered only when needed. I replaced the read sensor with a magnetic sensor, it's a test to compare the two different solutions. And then I added a Tiny 10 to control the sensor interrupt and the enable of the LDO that provides power to ESP32. And then uh, the final change is try to replace RT9080 with SPX. Spoiler was not a good idea. And this guys was my first idea to improve the design. While the PCBs were in production, I got the components and I test the SPX hoping it would be more efficient when the enable was disabled than the RT9080, but as you can see the LDO have the same efficiency and uh, in general RT9080 is better. Also, one of you suggests me to try using a low power mic controller to handle the interrupt in the power block of the SP32, so I figured it was a good idea because I found several mic controllers that in deep sleep consume very low power in order of uh, nanoampere, this is the reason of the Tiny 10. After place the order of the new PCBs I realized that the best solution is actually to develop a custom power latch. It's the only way to reduce the power consumption as much as possible. So the best idea is to use a power latch or design a power latch or something like that. Doing some research I found this component, the TPL by Texas Instruments. For this type of application it will be perfect, maybe. You will say why isn't perfect for a window and door sensor? Because it is designed to have a transient height signal like a button. So. 0, I push button, 1 and go again to 0 the signal. Actually this circuit is perfect for an IoT button project, uh, the power consumption is perfect, only few nanoampere, but for this project, smart door sensor, I only need to power the SP32 when the signal rises from 0 to 1 and when it falls from 1 to 0, so when the door from closed opens and vice versa. So the door may stay open but the SP32 should not stay on. So when the door is open maybe the sensor give to my controller 1 or 0. If the signal go to 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, the power latch should power up the my controller. In addition, using TPL means that the design depends on these components. So I would like to develop something with MOSFET and transistor to avoid the problem for the shortage. This prototype I develop is more efficient than the previous version. I have decreased the power consumption of some components, I'm also thinking of developing a single PCB design and not a modular design. As you know, I like to develop modular solution with the idea of allowing easy reuse of the hardware. The problem is that for these kinds of application you need to optimize the hardware a lot, so it's difficult to ensure the modularity of the device. For sure, modularity is useful to benchmark with different mic controllers for the same final application, but on final device designed to be so 
sold maybe it doesn't make sense guys what do you think about modular design it's useful for this type of project i have already almost finished developing the new version of the project with a custom power latch that should ensure low power consumption in the next video i will show you the new version of the dev kit for energy harvesting is an evolution to the previous solution i show you a few months ago but this time is compatible with objects link thank you again to pcbway for supporting the project and guys thank you for watching until the end and see you next time in the next video and next project bye